You're watching Champions of Akash and it's time to bring you a story of Nirman Shah who goes on to prove that consistency is actually the key. If you are consistent enough, you can generate great results like her neat results today in the long term. No wonder she was formally called Miss Consistent by the faculty at Akash. Please welcome Nirman Shah. First of all, Nimansha, congratulations for your excellent results. How does it feel? Thank you so much, ma'am. I feel delighted. I'm actually satisfied by the result I've got. I prepared a lot for it. I'm sure it must be a great feeling. But I have to start by asking you, Nimansha, that at what point did you decide that I'm going to pursue medicine? Uh, in ninth standard. And what made you do that? I like biology a lot, you know, studying uh, how our body works and all. And also my brother is a doctor, so he guided me through it. Okay, so there was also a motivation within the family to become the doctor. Yes. And then at what point did you decide that you need to come to Akash for further guidance for your career? Uh, in 11th standard, I joined Akash. All right. And how has this journey been from there to now to this excellent neat result that you've got? How has Akash contributed in this journey? It was not a smooth journey, there were many highs and lows, but the faculty of Akash helped me a lot to cope up with it and uh, my parents and friends also supported that, you know, being consistent and not getting demotivated by low marks sometimes, so, and Akash study material was very helpful for me in the preparation, uh, the study material, its questions and its content uh, boosted my knowledge and uh, obviously gave me a practice of how to tackle with difficult questions. So tell me, what makes you misconsistent? As a faculty at Akash fondly called you, you're consistently, I believe, set you apart from a lot of other kids. I uh, scored almost consistently in the exams. Um, sometimes there were points where I did not uh, score how much I wanted to. But I tried again and again and worked hard. And that's why I think they call me misconsistent because I always uh, consistently tried to s score what I wanted to. Right. And tell me, while you were uh, uh, under the guidance of Akash, if I was to ask you, is there any one particular feature, uh, one particular kind of help that comes from Akash, which is really valuable for a neat, neat aspirant, what would that be? I think the study material. Okay. Because the level of questions which they give, they have a wide range of questions which uh, expose me to the different uh, difficulty levels, the easy, the medium and the difficult ones. And the difficult ones improve my knowledge and the medium ones, you know, to uh, gain that speed and accuracy. Right. Idea. And also that helps you gain a lot of confidence towards the actual exam. Yes. Right. So tell us a little bit more about your family, Nimansha. You just uh, told us your brother is also studying medicine. Um, tell us more about your family, who all you have and how did your family support you? in your journey? I have an elder brother and uh, my parents, my mother is a housewife and my father works in ONGC. And my brother as he is pursuing medicine, so he had knowledge of what I should study, what I should focus more on to uh, ace this exam. And obviously the first thing is NCRT and that's what he told me the very first day. And uh, my parents supported me a lot during the exam. As I said, there were many highs and lows. So sometimes I used to feel I'll not be able to do it and I'll not uh, you know, achieve what I want to. But then they told me that just try your best. It doesn't matter the result. What matters is how you're prepared for it. Have you given your best or not? So I had that in my mind and that kept me going the whole two years. All right. So now tell me something like you said, highs and lows. Every student faces highs and lows. Sometimes even the most consistent ones feel that the morale has gone down on some days. Was there a phase or an incident or a time when you felt that I'm hitting a low and if yes, then how did you come out of it? In the beginning of 12th standard, I uh, used to score a little bit low marks because I don't know, maybe there's because of the changes in the syllabus, uh, like suddenly you switch to organic in 12th uh, in chemistry. Like in 11, there's not much exposure to organic, but in 12th, there's much of it. So I scored low marks in 12th in the beginning. But again, support from the teachers and parents that kept me going. It's, and, okay, it's just a syllabus. And tell me, um, out of all the weaknesses um, that a student has, of course, you need a mentor to identify that this is a strategy, Mimansha, you need 
to overcome this weakness of yours. Um, did Akash help you identify your weaknesses and overcome them and change them into strengths? Yes, a lot because when I, whenever I face any challenges, I used to go to my teachers that how should I improve it and what I should do uh, to not make the same mistake again. And that's where the experience of teachers helped a lot. They told me that I have to do this way or not do this to ace the exam. And tell me, was it all about studying in uh, preparation mode for NEET or could you find time to pursue your hobbies, your passions? I did find time for that because I'm not the one who always studies. Okay. I need refreshments in between. And, um, so I used to listen to a lot of songs and also dancing is my hobby. So that used to boost my mood. You just dance to yourself? Yes. Like just dance to take a break? Yes. That's great. I used to do the same. <laughs> and it's really refreshing. So any key neat aspirant who's looking at you and wants some lessons in managing time, what would you like to share with them? First, you need to identify your own schedule, that what you want to follow, what works best for you, or studying in the night or in the day. And for me, it worked in the night. So I used to study late at night. And time management basically includes focusing on what you're not good at. If you focus on that, I think your time will be managed. You'll get uh, more time for your uh, hobbies also because when you're done with one thing which you do not know, you feel good and then you can relax a little bit. Right. So uh, just focus on what you have been taught the whole day in the morning at uh, your classes and then focus on what you do not know, solve some questions for it and uh, take refreshments in between because that really used to help me a lot. Talk with friends or uh, pursue your hobbies. Hmm. And any tips for neat aspirants really to follow that, you know, you think that these are the things I learned in my journey and it would be great if I can share and help other people? One thing is never feel low during a preparation. Like, it's an easy thing to say, but obviously everyone feels low. So the thing is, come back again. It really doesn't matter how much you're getting uh, scores now. What really matters is that you keep putting work on it and at the end you'll always get results. So just don't worry. That's one thing I like to say. Thank you for that. That's a great response. I think I'll open the floor for audience questions now. Congratulations for a wonderful result. Thank you. I wanted to ask you that if while studying you got drained out or exhausted, then how did you deal with it? I used to talk to my friends because then the tension gets distributed and you understand that it's not just you feeling that way, it's everybody. So there's no need to freak out. And um, again, pursue your hobbies. Like, um, listen to songs, just lighten your mood up. You'll feel good after some time. Like, don't get engrossed in that situation. Time passes away. I wanted to ask you that uh, there are some portions of the NEED syllabus where you need to uh, memorize and it requires rote learning, especially in organic chemistry. So how you uh, had uh, done uh, during your preparation time, managed it? I used to make short notes and also uh, take some, write some points which you don't remember and stick it in front of you on the wall or something so that you can uh, read it whenever you are free and after some time it just gets stuck in your mind and you remember it. Mm, okay, thank you. I would like to ask you, when you saw all your friends enjoying and having the time of their life, how did you deal with the fear of missing out? Yeah, it's a great question. I used to talk to my family at that time. Friends were not help helpful in that case. so. I used to tell myself that obviously there should be a difference if you uh, if you want to achieve something bigger than others. And uh, I used to motivate myself. Up, okay, it's fine if you're getting left out. It's not um, such a big issue. You will be able to pursue that later. So that's how I go Thank for that. You. So actually, I wanted to ask that for the theory part, is NCRT enough for the subjects? Like different subjects, is it enough for them? For biology, NCRT is enough and whatever extra you need, your teachers will teach you. And for physics, you can solve some other books. If your teachers tell you again, like if you need a practice in that, you can solve Etsy Verma and all. And in chemistry, for inorganic, again, NCRT is uh, more than sufficient. And for organic, I think the teachers cover most of the portion that you need in the exam. Thank you for the questions, but I must mention here Mimansha that Mimansha is also a KVPY and an NTSA scholar and an IMO gold medalist for zonal level. Is that right? Yes. Lots of achievements, Mimansha, and I'm sure your mother has had a pivotal role to play 
in your achievements. So it's time I call your mother, Miss Sukhwanti, in on the studio. Can we have you here, please? So Mimansha ki mother, Sukhwanti ji, hamare saath hai. Sabse pehle to huge congratulations. Sukhwanti ji, aapke dono bache Akash ke paas kai guidance ke liye. Pehle aapke bete ne pass out kiya aur ab aapki beti ka neat result aaya hai. Aapko kya dono ki way of learning mein koi badlaab nazar aaya itne saalo mein? नहीं ऐसा कुछ खास वो नहीं है उस टाइम भी अच्छा था अभी भी अच्छा है अच्छा है अब तो ऐसा क्या फीचर है ऐसी क्या बात है एज अ पेरेंट जो आप बता रही थी कि आप खुद जाती थी आकाश में अब जो आपको लगता है बहुत खास है यहाँ पे मैं जाती थी आकाश में चेक करने के लिए खास कर जैसे बेटा था स्कूल में थे बेटी थी ये भी स्कूल में थी तब मैं स्कूल में भी जाती थी इनको चेक करने के लिए टीचर से इंट्रैक्ट करने के लिए और यहाँ पर भी आती थी के बच्चों में कहाँ पर क्या अगर कुछ होता है कभी लो एंड अप होता है तो वो जानने के लिए जाती थी फैकल्टी वगैरह से बातचीत करके सब बहुत अच्छा लगता था कि नहीं सब बढ़िया है अच्छा और क्या आपका जो एक पहले बेटा आपका जो कि नीट पास कर गया और फिर डॉक्टर बनने गया उसका जो तजुर्बा है क्या उसने आपको एज ए पेरेंट हेल्प किया मेमानशाह के साथ इस बच्चे को आगे नीट के लिए तैयार कराने में जी कैसे हेल्प किया बताएँ उसका यही था कि नहीं फर्स्ट ऑफ तो उसका ये था कि आप इसको आकाश में ही डालें कोचिंग के लिए क्लासेस के लिए आकाश में ही डालें सेकंडली वो इसको मोटिवेट करता था कि आप ऐसा करो ये करो वो करो तो काफ़ी हेल्प रहा है उसका जी, जी और जो पेरेंट्स आपको अभी देख रहे हैं सुपंथी जी जिनके बच्चे नीट में बैठना चाहते हैं आगे जी, आ, अगर अपनी तरफ से उन्हें कोई राय देना चाहेंगी एज अ पेरेंट कोई गाइडेंस देना चाहेंगी तो क्या होगा मैं यही राय देना चाहूँगी कि बच्चों को प्रेशराइज ना करें उनको फ्री छोड़ दें बस उनको एक दो बातें यही बोलें कि अच्छा खाओ अच्छा पढ़ो अच्छा पहनो बुराइयों से बचो बस यही मेरी तरफ से पेरेंट्स के लिए वो होगा कि ज़्यादा प्रेशराइज ना करें बस बच्चों को थैंक यू सो मच सुखवंदी जी लवी कमना मीमांशा ना मीमांशा फॉर ऑल द नीट एक्सपीरियंस हुआ वॉचिंग यू हियर इफ यू वर टू लीव विद पीस ऑफ एडवाइस वॉट फॉर दैट वीक डोंट एवर फील दी मोटिवेटेड लाइक keep boosting your motivation whenever you feel low and seek help from your parents and please focus on ncert because ncert is the key to need so thank you mimansha thank you for joining us in the studio and sharing your inspiring tips i'm sure that will really help all the neat aspirants watching thank, thank you so and much. all the best thank you thank you so much ma'am studio mein aane ke liye aur humse apni baatein share karne ke liye and that was mimansha story yet another champion of akash thank you for watching